I think everyone knows that the global pandemic has affected the well-being and the livelihoods of people all around the world. These are difficult times and remain so. This country has been in lockdown for around 80 days. Social distancing, for example, still remains so important. But the Derby is an event that's been going on for, what, 240 years. It survived world wars. But this time around, for a long time, we didn't even know if it was going to happen. When we heard that the pandemic was in and around us, there was this concern that were we going to lose one of the classic sporting occasions of the year? And there were moments of, yes, we possibly are. Once we were allowed to pursue options and alternatives, we then had to make a formal application to a group of people called the Conservators to request two things. One, a new date for the Derby and two, that we were able to create this behind closed doors, this sterile exclusion zone. We will probably have circa three and a half miles of temporary fencing. We'll have lots of signage so that we're able to run the day with only the people that are needed for a race day. And unfortunately, it was really well received by Conservators who see Investec Derby as something important, iconic and huge for the local community. It's going to be different, it's going to be eerie, it's going to be strange, but these jockeys have got their chance to chalk their name in history. In the most famous flat race in the world, I think they'll be as uptight and as nervous and as excited as ever. It's a complete unique test of a horse, that's what makes it feel so special. All the racecourses have put in a lot of work and, and a lot of measures to keep us all properly spaced out and all the sort of normal race day procedures have changed. Normally in a weighing room we're all pretty crammed in, so they've changed that, everyone's got a two metre pod. Having no crowd will benefit some horses massively because that's half of the test of the derby. It's, you have to canter past the whole of the crowd, you have to canter the whole mile and a half for a horse to keep its head is, is an achievement in itself. The challenge is going to be the Derby winner we're coming into the normal pact. It's going to come back onto that in utter silence with no one there. I would have thought for Andrew Cooper, who's in charge, he'll have had the cleanest and clearest preparation he's had for a very long time. Preparing any turf is all about trying to make it peak at the right time because it cannot physically stay in its perfect condition all year round. We had to wait for a lot of things to sort of fall into place, but our planning by that stage, we felt we'd be able to ramp up either the irrigation or tweak fertilizer timings to suit whatever date we fell onto for the Investec Derby later in the season. The mentalities haven't changed. The Derby is the Derby. It's still one of the biggest days in the racing calendar around the world. It's everyone's childhood dream in racing. It's going to be different. It's going to be behind closed doors but we haven't lost it, so it will be the 241st run-in of the events at Derby. No one must forget the challenges society faces right now, but the Investec Derby, it can be an escape. It can be a taste of normality that we all crave right now in these extraordinary circumstances.